Do you find there are times when you're crying that you didn't expect to? That's funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, that I didn't expect to? Yeah. And can you share a time with us about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, uh, could I? Sure, I could. I, and I guess that's why I pulled this back to the other discussion is because what value is there in that? I, I'm acknowledging to you that I recognize the shared human experience, but I'm saying to you that ultimately there's not value in winding around that axle. Do I have to process those things? Yeah. And do I process those things with my wife or my loved ones like any person does? Yeah, of course. The question is, are you then going to start shaping your life around your emotional perspective? Or are you going to bring those things back to a godly perspective? And now shape your life and the way you process around that. Right, all the women in the church understand that. All the women? In your church understand that. Do you think that I don't value the, the women in the church? Or what, what are you getting at? I'm not quite trying. No, no, all I'm saying is... Start to you don't show your emotions. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's, not, it's not that the women in the church are... are, are I'm not trying to have an argument. Do you do you understand the the way I'm viewing it? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Can yeah, I say you. something? I think he's saying that you're explaining your emotions rather than like showing them, Feeling. saying them to us and like re re feeling them to us, I guess. And so some of the women are able to do that, even though it's within the frame of the scriptures, the priority. So okay, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> so you, can, you obviously, you know, you can obviously choose not to. It's whatever. It's, uh, that's all good. Oh, that's your point. Oh, so, because you're saying, why wouldn't I give some examples like that? Well, I mean, the women, that? the women seem to recognize that there's some benefit potentially, or maybe benefit isn't the right word, but the way you expressed it just now was maybe a piece of what the benefit might be is to get to get for people to get to see us that we're not robots and that we're caring human beings who are guided by scripture. And that you know, so you sort of articulated. Some of the way I would have articulated, you, you got it. I felt like you totally understood where I'm coming from on that. Yeah. So I guess I'm just not as interested in the academic exercise. So that's fine. I, I do that in reality when it matters on the ground. And when I'm dealing with people uh, in real life that I encounter, or I'm dealing with people in the workplace, uh, and those um, actual circumstances arise, then I genuinely deal with those things with those people. I'm just not, I've never been a person, emotional issues or non-emotional issues, I've never been a person who does real good with, uh, let's do it for the academic exercise. What's so the academic aspect here? Well, just let me relive the emotion in this discussion with you. But that's not something I'm all that interested in doing. So you think when like you're, the other women, or the women who are doing that, you feel that they're engaging in a more academic thing? I'm saying I think that's what you're asking people so people will do that in the comfort level that they have. I don't have a comfort level with that. I have a comfort level with on the ground reality of the situation with the people I'm dealing with. So when I'm in the workplace and someone has a loved one that dies or has some nasty medical situation that's going on or I've got a person that's that's come in for their performance review and I've got to give them bad news about their performance and um, they start the performance review in tears, not even because of the performance review, but because their husband is cheating on them and they're eight months pregnant. Well, you deal with those things then. So, I mean, we have all of those experiences. We're all impacted by all of those experiences. But I'm not, I'm not interested in talking about those things um, conceptually and theoretically. Um, the only important thing to me is how do you ultimately deal with those things? Maybe that's part of it too. I'm a get to the bottom line kind of person. Get to the result. Okay. <laughs> that's fair. So. And different people process things different ways. Jen is a different person. Yeah. And that's good. Um, you 
you want to participate? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I'm a techie. Me. I don't know. What, what do you want from me? <laughs> I just realized Hello got me to give a solid example from work. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to show you that. <laughs> Some of the students. Yeah, that did was all good. Fantastic. That was all good, sir. What's your life been like the last year? 